Gemini, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, back with another channel tarot card message for you today. We're going to see who's currently uh, secretly admiring you here. Who is viewing you as their crush at this time? Or you could possibly have a secret admirer or a crush. Right? We attract what we attract. Let's see. Who's currently admiring you at this time? Who is viewing you as their crush? Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. We got butterflies showing up. Okay. Could be someone new. Let's see. Or someone that has recently went through some sort of a transformational period. All right. Don't forget to check your moon, rising, Venus, and north node placements to find additional clues on who may be viewing you as their crush or your secret admirer. We have nine of swords. They're losing sleep over this here. <laughs> they have you on their brain. <laughs> This could be a little bit of mental toxicity here. Possibly an air sign. A clairvoyant here. Yeah. It's kind of one and the same, right? People think uh, clairvoyants are crazy. <laughs> crazy folk, right? Uh, the high priestess is ruled by cancer. So that's your first clue. You could be dealing with a cancer or someone that's very nurturing. Or indeed, there's some sort of a spiritualist. Could have uh, recently been on some sort of a spiritual journey, spiritual retreat, or some sort of a spiritual revelation, right? They could be a teacher as well. Eight of Cups, walking away or ghosting a situation here. This could also be detoxing, right? Needing clarity. Four of Wands. Yeah, they're wanting to, they're wanting to, okay, so as the cards are showing, like a map here, we have a high priestess, a cancer, right? Someone very nurturing. Going into this Eight of Cups, they're walking out of a situation or they're coming out of their privacy, which is what the High Priestess is. She's very quiet. And they're wanting to come into this Four of Wands, a union with you here, which will be the Twin Flame Soulmate card. So they, uh, like me, when I finally decide to make a move, it's with a purpose because I'm attracted to very specific, very unique people. Got the spider again. <laughs> I guess he didn't get enough. Uh, J. Cole can't get enough. They can't get enough of you. Four of Cups. Man, these four these fours are showing up heavy. So we got Four of Cups showing up for you, right? Uh, a cup is being offered towards you. Uh, uh, again, they, they're crushing on you, right? They're viewing you as um, someone that they uh, have great admiration for. It could be a gift coming towards you. Queen of Swords. They probably got a second opinion about this. Queen of Swords will be a Libra. Libra's rules. Any type of relationship you can have. Friendship. Uh, romantic. Business. Right? Uh, yeah, so you could be dealing with a cancer, uh, the high priestess again, someone po possibly clairvoyant, right? They're being viewed as all-knowing as well with the Queen of Swords. She has a lot of wisdom, a lot of intelligence, you, uh, also a lot of discernment. And then just like in Taurus is reading here, we have Four of Cups and Four of Wands, right? We have a relationship coming towards you. They're wanting to offer you this and they're wanting to make it official or seal the deal here. This could be a contract involved. And then we add these two fours together, that's eight. So, again, they're wanting to walk into some sort of a union with you here. A nine of cups, a wish fulfillment, right? Again, your clues could be a cancer or any water sign. Someone that's very clairvoyant. And then we have the queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone that appears very thoughtful, very open-minded. They could be a teacher or something like that. Mm -hmm. Some sort of a, not content creator, but um, a blogger or a vlogger, right? So, that's what I have for you here today. 333, three, three. like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. You have someone that's crushing on you or admiring you at this time. Peace.